Apple just released a new version of the Apple Vision Pro and it may fix the headset's biggest issue. And no, I'm not talking about price. Real quick, if you wanna keep up to date with all the latest Apple news and reviews, hit that subscribe button. So Apple Vision Pro was first announced at WWDC 2023. I was there and it was released to the masses in early 2024. Of course, with its high price tag, unclear use cases and notable weight, it wasn't meant to be a mass adoption product. Rather, it was a glimpse at the future of where Apple was going with spatial computing. Vision OS 26, which was only released a month or so ago at this point, filled in a bunch of gaps, like adding widgets and persistent workspaces. Now it's less than two years from that first hardware release and Apple has given the device a substantial refresh. I'll walk you through the update and why I think this could be a big deal for both the new model and owners of the original. See, I've been using Apple Vision Pro since launch. I use it constantly for both work and entertainment. The ability to mirror my Mac display into an ultra wide display from anywhere is amazing. And watching 3D or IMAX movies on it is stunning. I'm really excited for F1 to release in December, for sure watching that on my Vision Pro. I also even shot like spatial video of when my kids were born to go back and relive those days on here. Looking at the new model, first things first, the design's the same. It still looks like my M2 model here. The body's all metal, it's covered in cameras and sensors, has the light shield, and that lenticular display on the front. The big change is on the inside. Apple has moved from that M2 chip all the way to the brand's new M5. That's a three generation leap in performance. The M5 is a three nanometer, 10 core CPU with a 10 core GPU compared to the M2 that had a slower eight core CPU. You're gonna see that opening apps is way faster. Games are running smoother, and Apple says it can also render 10% more pixels, which is saying a lot on those tiny high-resolution displays. Not only that, it has twice the AI performance, which is helpful since Vision Pro has Apple intelligence. I bet that'll be even more important come the spring. Vision OS 26 brought support for spatial controllers, which should lead to some cool games and experiences, but the M5 chip enables both hardware-accelerated ray tracing and mesh shading to help that. That all means better visuals, improved lighting, shadows, and textures across the board. But aside from being faster, it also enables a new higher refresh rate. The OG Apple Vision Pro had a typical refresh rate of 90 Hertz with the ability to spin up to 96 or so in certain instances. With the M5, it can now go all the way up to 120 Hertz. If you go back and watch my original review, one of the things I complained about way back then was this refresh rate. When I had to get up while wearing my Vision Pro, there could be warping a bit in the world around me as I chased a toddler. This high refresh rate should noticeably reduce that motion blur of the real world. That could be huge for me personally, using this in my studio where I'm not always going to be 100% stationary with it. Apple also says that between increased pixel rendering and the high refresh rate, it's also going to be a better experience when mirroring your Mac. I'm not exactly sure how much better that's going to be, but considering it's one of my major use cases, I'd love it. I'm also gonna credit the M5 chip with improving battery life. This is also a general pain point. It's now rated for two and a half hours of general use up from two and three hours of video playback up from 2.5. So this new model, just with a chip upgrade, enhances mirroring, real world motion blur decrease, app and AI performance, better graphics, um, better games, and improved battery life all real valid concerns with the first model. But the change that I think that will make the absolute biggest difference is the new dual knit strap. The M5 Apple Vision Pro comes bundled with the dual knit band instead of the standard knit band that I have here. It goes both over your head as well as behind your head. Of course, this is also Apple, so it's incredibly well engineered. The band has the same comfortable ribs as I have here, but the rear one now has embedded tungsten weights. These weights are designed to offset the weight of the Vision Pro on your forehead. Talking to other users, the one thing I hear the most is that it's heavy and eventually presses too much on that forehead. I've been pretty fortunate to not have that issue happen to me much, but it has happened if I try to work at my desk for hours on end with this plugged in. It's also very adjustable. 
It comes in small, medium, and large sizes. The knob on the side rotates to adjust one of the two bands, but if you pull it out and then rotate, it'll adjust the other one. So freaking cool. Best of all, this game-changing band is available to purchase separately for $99, which means owners of the OG Vision Pro can use it. I'm incredibly excited to try it out and see how it changes the fit and the comfort. It's funny because Apple actually showed off a dual band back at WWDC when this was announced, and then it was never heard of again. It seems like, like they, they took that original design, scrapped it, and then came out with this way better engineered one. I'm really excited for it. I'll be honest, the price is still $3,500, and there's no trade-in program here so far. I don't think there's any way to easily justify buying a new one right now. My M2 model is legit just fine, even with the concerns that I mentioned before. But I think the new band is an instant buy. It could single-handedly fix the number one complaint I hear from actual users. And I think that's a really big deal. This is still not intended as a mass market product, but Apple is cooking between Vision OS updates and this substantial hardware refresh. I'm beyond excited to see where Apple moves with spatial computing in the coming years. Whether it is the rumored meta glasses dupe or the bigger pro refresh, I'm here for it. If you want to come along, be sure you give me a follow and I'll see you all in the next video.